To start importing into Aperture, click the Import button here in the toolbar, or type Command-I. Doing either one of those will bring up a list of locations to import from. Currently, only my iMac is available in this list. Down here in what looks sort of like a finder window, I have my iMac's hard drive and two external hard drives, iMac Backup and Media. In this list, my pictures folder is currently highlighted. There's only one image file in that folder right now, which is displayed above. If I select Documents, I get a few more image files. Aperture will accept a wide variety of image files. PDF, Photoshop files, TIFFs, JPEGs, PNG files, and more are all acceptable to import into Aperture. The folder I'll be importing from is on my media drive. So I'll select that and go to the folder called Swanson Scans. There are eight images here, all of which are checked. These can be displayed in grid view, as they are now, list view, or one at a time in the viewer. In grid or list view, use the slider here to change the size that they're displayed at. I usually prefer grid view when importing. To select a continuous set of the images all at once, first choose Uncheck All. Then click on the first image you want to import, hold down the Shift key, and select the last one you want. I can tell these are all selected because they have a white box around them. I'm not ready to import yet though because they aren't all checked. So as long as they are selected, I can just check one of the boxes and the rest will become checked as well. I can also use command click to make non-continuous selections of images. So I can select one and then a few others after that while holding the, down the command key. Then check one of the selected photos box and they're available to import. Before actually importing these though, we need to cover a few more things. So I'm going to hold off on that right now. Next, I'm going to insert an SD card into my iMac. Most Macs made in the last few years will have an SD card slot on the side of the machine. This makes it unnecessary to plug in your camera via USB cord each time you want to import some photos. So I'll insert my card which is called 16 GB SD. It appears in the import list in Aperture with my iMac. Select it and all the images on the card are displayed. To the right of the grid view I have some import options. The one I want to take a look at right now is the Automatically Split Projects checkbox. If I check this, these photos are divided up based on the dates they were taken. If I were to import these now, I would end up with separate projects for August 24th, 26th, 31st, and September 2nd. Problem is, the images from the 24th and 26th should all go into the same project. So to prevent these from being divided up, I can either just uncheck automatically split events and either bring these photos in together or just check the ones I want. A better way around this is to go to Aperture's Preferences and the Import pane. In the Auto Split into Projects menu, I can choose from one project for each day to one for each week. Notice that I can also choose to decrease the time between splitting to a new project to 8 or 2 hour gaps. These two would probably only be good if you're taking a lot of photos each day at different locations. I'll stick with one week for each project though, and all the August photos will be brought into a single project.
Another way to import into Aperture is to import folders directly as projects. You would probably do this when you know you want every photo that's included inside a folder. So I'll hit Shift-Command-I to import a folder as a project. A different import window comes down. I'll select the Swanson Scans folder again, and now I get an option to import the folders as folders in projects or projects in albums. Projects in Aperture can be arranged into folders, unlike events in iPhoto. So in this case, I would end up with a folder in Aperture called Swanson Scans, and then two projects in that folder, one called Items from Swanson Scans for these images, not in their own folder, and then another project called Drew for the images in this Drew folder. Select Import as Projects and Albums, and one project would be created, called Swanson Scans. Two albums within that project will also be created, one titled Items from Swanson Scans and Drew. Doing this can be a great option when moving into Aperture, an image collection from a PC or an old hard drive that's been arranged in correctly titled folders. So you can import into Aperture from any connected hard drive, disk, or card. If you had a connected network drive, that too would show up under your Mac in the import list. One limitation when importing is that you cannot use Aperture in full screen mode. If I click the full screen mode button here in the upper right, well in the import in interface, nothing happens. If I exit the import interface and then go to full screen and aperture, there's no way to get back to the import interface. If I type command I from here, I just get an alert sound, letting me know I can't do that right now. I love using aperture in full screen mode, but just remember you can't import while in full screen. Next up, we'll look at the choice between storing imported files in your aperture library or in another folder or drive as referenced files.